Hello, everyone. I remember my first day on call. I was excited, but also nervous. The last line of defense for billions of users. I wasn't a superhero, but I had a playbook. For every alert, it had possible causes and how to validate them using metrics, logs, and sometimes distributed tracing. Playbook and experience. That's how I was trained as Uncle more than 10 years ago, and that is still how we train them now. The problem is, 10 years ago, maybe your system had about 100 servers. But now, your system may consist of hundreds of thousands of servers, and users' requests may go through thousands of servers owned by hundreds of teams before the system returns your response. So, if you find your product broken, how do you find which server just broke it? Thicker playbook? Or perhaps we should change, I mean fundamentally change. For example, what if we were able to see where the problem started from and how it is affecting certain end user product or customer. My name is Kyusun. Mayu and I are from Google Monitoring's CUI attribution team. CUI attribution team asks end user product teams to identify their request with the metadata that we call critical user interaction, CUI. For example, if a request is for um, users watching a video on YouTube, then the metadata could be a string, YouTube slash watch. This metadata is propagated along with the request through the stack using mechanisms such as baggage. Then we gather the system performance metrics, such as latency and error ratios, broken down by this metadata from every server that the request goes through. So how does this compare to other approaches? On one hand, traditional server metrics gives you the visibility on all the requests that the server sees, but it doesn't tell you where the request or errors originally started from beyond one hop. On the other hand, distributed tracing gives you an end-to-end -end visibility, but the view is limited on a single request at a time. CUI attribution gives you an end-to-end -end visibility for a set of requests grouped by end user product critical user interaction. Hello everyone, my name is Mayur. So we built a system topology tool based on the observability from CUI attribution where the nodes represent services grouped by a product area or a PA and edges represent RPCs from services in one PA to another PA. The thickness of the edge represents the QPS and the color in this case represents the errors. In SRECon Americas last year, we reported that we could observe an outage on a CUI starting at the root cause and gradually propagating to the front, front user, end user product among thousands of servers. And this way, we were able to root cause an outage within two minutes without any domain expertise, whereas it took approximately 15 minutes for uh, subject matter experts. In the same conference, we also reported that during an outage, there seems to be visually salient anomalies on metrics broken down by CUI on the dependencies between the root cause server and the alerting server. For example, jobs A through D runs millions of QPS. But when you just look at the error ratios for one particular CUI X, which is just a few QPS, you can see, clearly see the uh, anomalies. And these anomalies link that root cause D uh, was the reason for the end user product having issues on job A. Now, if CUI tagging can enable us to view these otherwise concealed anomalies and link them together, perhaps we can use them to automatically triage an outage to a root cause. To do that, we must first define anomaly a bit more formally. In this version of our algorithm, we use mean and standard deviation of metrics for the past 30 days to define a range of normal operation. 
and then we define anomaly as a sustained divergence from this normal range. In this graph, we are using errors, but we found out that it, the logic works equally well for latencies as well. Now, let's say we get alerted for an outage on a CUI on server A. How would we triage that outage? Using this, first we will run this anomaly detection on, on that server for that CUI and get that anomaly. To proceed, we run the same anomaly detection on QPS from this server A to all of its immediate dependencies, which are also running the same CUI. And see if any of the uh, dependencies also show anomaly, which align with the same time in reference, and then disregard all the others. And then we repeat the same process for all the filtered anomalous dependencies over and over again till you do not find any more anomalies. What we get is the root cause server D is, uh, that is where the error started for what we were searching for on server A. Based on our study, this simple algorithm could identify the anomaly chain and link them together between the root cause server and the front end user or the alerting server. We are currently testing tools for on callers so that upon alerting, the on caller already receives one what is the root cause server? And two, how is the root cause server linked to the alerting server? So with this entire thing in mind, what does the future of Google monitoring look like? Again, maybe your system looks like this. To simplify, let's focus on a single CUI with a single entry point and its backend. The anomaly detection that Mario shared earlier is massively parallelizable. Meaning, one can detect anomalies on every edge for every CUI in parallel. If we overlay the anomalies detected on top of this kind of a topology graph in real time, what would it look like? Here's what we think we'll see. Failures happen everywhere all the time, and so do anomalies. Most of the time, they are transient. And usually, retries make them be make them go away before they start affecting the end user experience significantly. But from time to time, they do persist and get propagated to its caller and to its caller until it reaches the entry point of a critical user interaction. By the time the anomaly started from a server far away starts affecting the end user experience, we already have the anomaly chain starting from the root cause server ending at the entry point of a critical user interaction. So what does this mean? First, the whole incident tapestry automatically collected and made available to everyone who is involved in this incident. No more hassles to construct a big picture based on fragmented and redundant alerts and incident. And secondly, did you notice that we did not require any alert to gain this insight? Rather, we can use this insight to alert more intelligently. For example, any own calls for the root cause server and entry point should be paged. They will be incident commander and communication lead most likely. But all the other intermediary service owners, they can be just kept in the loop for the ongoing incident involving the services. Alerting to mitigate the incident rather than to investigate the anomaly. And lastly, all of this without any custom configuration or domain expertise on any of the backends that you may depend on. That is the future of monitoring that Google is heading toward, enabled by simply tagging the request with the propagating metadata, such as a critical user interaction, and collecting the metrics by the metadata from every server that the request goes through. Thank you very much.